Are we ready to pull some fire tonight? I know I am. I'm ready to. I'm, we need some big hits, right? Like I'm looking for Otani and Don Russ and Ezekiel Elliott and Honors. I mean, I want to pull some. I want some heat tonight. We've been doing pretty well lately. We've pulled a lot of good stuff recently, but I don't know. I just think we're due. Even I'm being greedy, I guess, right? Because we've already pulled good stuff this week, but I think we're due to pull some more. A couple of notes before we get started. First off, I'm still having to do that strange workaround to live stream on YouTube. I don't know. There's some kind of an API interface error that came into play, I guess, when my broadcast software updated or when YouTube updated, when somebody updated uh, earlier this week. So I have some workarounds. They have been doing the trick so far, except for one night when we dropped in the middle of the live stream. So the reason I'm telling you this is because if we have anything happen and the live stream drops off for any reason, just know that I'm gonna bring it back up as quickly as I can. It probably would be anywhere from two or three minutes to seven or eight minutes. Um, and hopefully we're not gonna have the problem, but just in case. So taking a look, we have some information on the screen we run through at the beginning of every break. First up, you'll just see a quick note about feedback. That is that mine is completely automated on eBay. So anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you're gonna instantly get it in return. No waiting on me to get caught up with that. And more importantly, thank you. Thank you for bidding with me. Thank you for breaking with me. A lot of you jump into chat and keep me company. And I see Bobby Jones is in there right now. And hi to you, Bobby. And thanks uh, everybody who keeps me company in chat as well. Next up, let's take a look here. These are the things that are already listed on eBay. It's basically the next five days worth of listings. There are two things I'm gonna point out here. One of them is that I flipping forgot that we're going to hit daylight saving time, right? Yeah. So that means all the stuff I listed for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday that would have ended, you know, say 8.45, 9 o'clock for a 10 o'clock break. Guess what? It's going to be ending at like 9.45 and exactly 10 o'clock for a 10 o'clock break. So keep in mind, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, because I stupidly forgot about daylight saving time, those breaks may really not be starting until a few minutes after, because obviously I've got to get the spreadsheets done. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, and you'll see throughout the week here, we've got lots more one box breaks, memorabilia breaks. We're going to do a, tomorrow a half case of prime signatures. We're going to do the back end of a prestige basketball case as well on Monday night. Uh, in addition to our memorabilia break and one box break, we're going to do a full inner case of Contenders Optic Football, which if you haven't seen that product yet, it is flat out awesome. I love it. And then we're also going to start a new case of Heritage on Monday night. Tuesday again, memorabilia one box. And the back half of Encased Football, that's the last of the 2017 Encased that I have, will also do another full case of Select Basketball on Tuesday night. On Wednesday, some one-box stuff and a half case of Contenders Basketball. That's the first half of the case. And Thursday night, uh, we'll do another half case of Prime Signatures and we'll start a new case of Don Russ Baseball. So that's kind of what is coming up ahead and of course again just remember I forgot about daylight saving time so they're all going to have end times like right on top of the time that we're supposed to start our live stream. If you're in one of the breaks tonight here's some information on the screen in regard to your anticipated shipping date. Most of our breaks tonight are free shipping. Our first uh, one, two, three, four, five breaks there are all free shipping breaks. Anytime it's free shipping, it's going to go out approximately five to six days after the auction ends, sometimes sooner if you have another package going in the interim. Also, if you're in one of those first five or six breaks there, please pay attention to what's on the screen there. If your team is not pulled and you hit nothing in the break, you're still entitled to a consolation card, which is typically sent with your next hit, but can be sent sooner if you just let me know that that's what you want to have done. 
more information about that in the listing description as well. Our paid shipping break tonight, that is the Don Russ baseball break. And I'm going to try to get that out to you sooner than the date that you see on there. But to be on the safe side, I'm listing it as a potential Wednesday ship. And if I can get it out to you prior to Wednesday, of course, I will do that. This is also the order that we're breaking in, guys. So it is going to be the mini helmet, the jersey, top supreme honors, and gold signature baseball. Then Don Russ baseball. I know this sounds like a lot, but all of these first five breaks are really pretty quick. So you're probably talking maybe 20 minutes or less, and we'll be starting Don Russ. So first up is one 2018 Gold Rush autographed mini football helmets break number six. Uh, so it is the sixth time we have broken a 2018 Gold Rush. It ended tonight, March the 10th. We're live streaming it tonight, March the 10th. And the format that we use all night long will be team names on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right. Anytime there's a team that isn't sold, like right here, the Ravens, it's going to be designated as no bids buyback. So any little orphan teams that no one gave a forever home to, that's how you're going to see it noted there on the spreadsheet. One of those spreadsheets, of course, will go up before every break. So if you're not in this break, you're still going to get a chance to see your name in lights uh, before your break starts. And the focus did change. That was on purpose. Not to worry, even though the background is out of focus, you're still going to be able to see everything all up nice and close without silly auto zooming in and out stuff that can happen. So we opened a mini helmet last night and it was a different brand. It was a nice one. It was a Paul Horning for the Packers. And tonight, we have got a Washington Redskin. And I'm trying to figure out whose signature that is. Does it say on here? No. And I don't know whose signature that is, guys. So, we have a nice Washington Redskin mini helmet signed by, I don't know, is that P. Ryan maybe? Could that be P. Ryan? Does anybody have a guess on that? Number, I think it says number 77. Could be 17, but I think it's 77. So at any rate, there's your COA inside there. It's a nice little helmet for the Redskins. Possibly P. Ryan, possibly somebody else. Because I can't read that signature and there's nothing that tells us. So there you go. Oh, yes, I wonder if there's a, no, there's no checklist on the back. Well, anyway, Redskins, congrats. Let me get our spreadsheet set back up. I can't seem to get my mouse to cooperate. There we go. Now we can take a look. Once again, if you're in this break, please take a moment to review what is on the screen. It gives you sh information about your shipping date and what happens if you are not the lucky person that pulls the jersey. Oh, Matt McMullen said that was not a P. Ryan signature on the, on the Redskin, so I don't know whose signature that was, guys. But we do know, of course, the mini helmet was for the Redskins. I just don't know who signed it. So this is a 2017 Gold Rush Autograph football jersey the Rookie Update Edition. This is uh, break number 13 of a 2017 Gold Rush autographed jersey. And same as before, a couple of unsold teams that are designated there as no bids buyback. And everything else has got a name across from it. And of course, if we pull it out for you, then it'll get on the way to you uh, about a week from now, six days from now. And I saw that Richard Sherman Signed a deal with the 49ers. Man, I did not see that coming. I don't know why. It just did not even occur to me that he would be at the 49ers. And so quick. Like, such a quick turnaround. Because, you know, he was coming out saying after they released him, hey, they want me to explore free agency, but they, they really want to bring me back with a restructured deal, da 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 And kind of made it sound like he was thinking about going back. Yeah, well, 24 hours later, guess what? He's a San Francisco 49er going up there to protect Jimmy G. And this looks like Matt Ryan, maybe. It is Matt Ryan. And, you know, I have somebody who bids on the Falcons all the time 
loves the Falcons, is always trying to hit a Ryan jersey or helmet, and wouldn't you know he does not have the Falcons tonight. He's not in tonight, which is a bummer because this is a nice hit. <laughs> this is a really nice hit, and I've been pulling a lot of Matt Ryan lately. We've pulled the helmets. We've pulled the jerseys. I pulled one of his nice cards out of Supreme last night. We've been on a Matt Ryan kick. Anyway, here is the JSA authentication you'll see down there uh, and a matching little piece of paper that goes with it. This will be put in the folds of the jersey, so please make sure that you do find that before you throw out your packing materials. And this, guys, is an authentic as well. So this is not even a custom jersey. This is an actual... Uh, authentic NFL jersey so super nice hit uh, for the Matt Ryan and you notice it didn't come in a bag this time it was just kind of folded up in some tissue paper so I'll basically try to put it back in that same sort of tissue paper and then in, in something from there so so nice hit for the Falcons I like it let me just get it set out of the way over here and then we're going to move onward see i told you these early ones go fast there's not much uh not much in them this is 2015 top supreme but whoops i forgot to put up the uh let's put that up so if you're in 2015 Top Supreme, please take a minute uh, <clears throat> to review what you see on the screen there about shipping dates. And if you happen to be a no-hit team in this, uh, what that means. This is one box of 2015 Top Supreme football, break number five. So the fifth time we've busted 15 Top Supreme. Like everything else, it ended tonight, March the 10th, and we're live streaming it tonight. And I don't know why I haven't broken 2015 Supreme, like, in a while. When I look back through there, I was like, oh, wow, it's really been a long time since I've broken 2015. And I don't really know why. Sometimes I just forget that I have stuff and I, I get, you know, I move on to something else and I forget I still have stuff around. Oh, Bobby, you hit a Drew Brees jersey last week. Silver ink, uh with Breeze and Beckett stickers on it. Very nice, man. Drew Breeze is a great hit as well. I don't know why, though. I have really been on a Matt Ryan sort of kick. I mean, we've pulled a ton of his cards. I pulled a couple of them numbered to 10 and autographed out of plates and patches. So, I mean, there's like 10 of them, and we pulled a couple of them. Then we pulled the Top Supreme last night to 10 out of, I think it was 13 Top Supreme. The jersey tonight, we pulled a full-size autograph Matt Ryan helmet like a couple weeks ago. It's just been a Matt Ryan kind of, I don't know, last couple weeks anyway. This is Matt Forte for the Bears to 194. And then we have Paul Horning to 99 for the Green Bay Packers. Top Supreme are such nice cards. I really miss them. Marcus Allen for the Raiders. And our hit is for the Bears. It is a quad relic Alshon Jeffrey to 25. So the Bears with our hit here out of 2015 Tops Supreme. And if I can manage to get uh, that in a sleeve. We don't have much recap to do here because we just have the one hit so there it is and 2015 top supreme is in the books locked and loaded which will bring us to 2016 honors football up next and let's get our spreadsheet set up again so once again if you're in honors take a minute look and look at your anticipated shipping date and the information about what happens if you do not pull something in this break and this is 2016 Honors Football. It's break number 10. And it ended tonight, March the 10th, same as our others. And once again, team names are on the left and your name in lights across from it. On the right-hand side is our winning bidder. And the last box of Honors that we opened, which was just a couple days ago, I think. I don't know, three within the last week, anyway, 
we pulled some absolute fire out of it. And I ordered it from this most recent box from a different place at a different time even. So that we have, you know, sometimes I like to mix these up when we're doing the one box break stuff. So that you don't always get like potentially stuff out of the same case or whatever. So wait, this one's from a whole different place. And we're going to see how we fare with it tonight. Whoops, I just dropped my pack of sleeves. So let's try that again. Ah, so we've got Jacob looking for the Cowboys, Bobby for the Colts, Viking Breaks for the Vikes, and Jacob is also looking for the Texans in here. Well, we have a Cowboy. Uh, this is just, you know, it comes with one base card and two cards that are encased. One will be a rookie and one will be a veteran generally. This is to 99, Des Bryant for the Cowboys. Then we have for the Bengals, Tyler Boyd to 99 that one is a sticker auto and then our other one is a redemption oh wow adrian peterson recollection collection very very nice let's go to our checklist on that you guys know i'm a big nerd and i always go to the checklist whenever we pull a redemption so you know i'm gonna do it again tonight and maybe it will, uh, if it is numbered, it's going to tell us what it will be numbered to as well. I just have to go through all the little drop down here, but you're going along with me so you see what I'm talking about. There's our recollection collection, and Mr. Adrian Peterson is card number 64. Except, why is it not bringing, why, why do I not see the... Oh, because it's doing the little working, like it's like not wanting to show us what's the deal there. All right, make sure it loaded, okay? Come on, Adrian Peterson, what are you numbered to? Four. Oh, nice. Very, very nice, because yours is card number 64, so you are going to be numbered to four. So your Vikings came through, my friend, in a big way with an Adrian Peterson numbered to four right on that's what i'm talking about so out of honors we had uh, the des bryant base card to 99 for the cowboys the tyler boyd encased to 99 for the Bengals, and well there's the back of that too and the redemption for the adrian peterson and card number 64 as we saw there on the checklist is going to be numbered to four with that redemption and I don't know why there's no seal on your one touch here with the redemption but they didn't put one on there I guess because you got to take the the redemption card out of there anyway but I don't know I'm just pointing it out because sometimes you know people will get kind of cranky about things like that and think that something happened between point a and point b so I'm just pointing it out that's all um it's you, yeah, it should be an autograph, uh, Viking Breaks. Uh, for sure it should be. I mean, I don't think it would be a redemption otherwise. So, you know, if it were, were anything other than an autograph, I believe it, you know, would have been live in the product. So I believe that that will be an autograph for you. Yes, indeed. So Viking Breaks, you did well on that one, my friend, to four. It's pretty impressive. Sometimes it pays to get your mojo working. This is going to bring us up to the 2017 Hit Parade Gold Signature Edition Baseball Box. And if you are in this break, please take a moment to review the information regarding shipping date and what happens if you do not pull a card in here. Uh, James, I did pull a Shaq and a Larry Bird from Select Basketball last night. They were sweet, sweet little hits, my friend. We had a good break with, uh, we also had that one of one Kyrie Irving laundry tag we had a really nice break with select last night so this is a one box of hit parade gold signature edition baseball 2017 i should say hit parade gold signature edition baseball break number three same as before ended tonight march the 10th and and we'll just scroll down through here so you can uh, see your name across from your team and then 
When we conclude this, of course, we'll be going into Don Russ Baseball, and that's a mega break. Don Russ Baseball is like a 1,500 card break. Like, it's a massive break. <laughs> And Bobby is looking for the Cubs and the Mariners in here. Oh, and James, you said <laughs> you didn't even see the break last night. You heard about it in another room. <laughs> well, we were having a good break. We were pulling some nice stuff out of there last night. And what do we have here? Oh, this looks nice. This is Cal Ripken. It is Leaf Certified 1994 stadium club leaf certified autograph well it's a tops okay let's back up it's a top stadium club card it is a leaf certified autograph encased of course so nice nice little cal ripkin coming out of here for the orioles that is uh pretty sweet i do believe so this must have been in like um Maybe this was in Leaf, like Best of Baseball or something, which just came out Friday, by the way. I've got to get that listed. But anyway, it's a nice hit for Baltimore with Cal Ripken on card auto. And that was it. There's just, you know, there's just the one card in there, so they got to make it. Oh, and a little, oh, well, it's not much of an advertisement, but it's that little piece of paper was in there, too. It just says, Hit Parade. <clears throat> so there you go. That is, I told you those first five breaks were going to be quick. I was not kidding. Now, this is the back part of a case of Don Russ baseball that we're getting ready to open. So, we don't have to worry about numbering them on the end and all that. Although, you'll see these are already numbered on the end because we did that when we first started the case. But these are the only boxes left. We've opened the other eight. So, we don't have to go to random tonight to figure out which ones we're going to open, we already know. It's the eight that are left. So for this, again, um, I'm expecting, well, I'm projecting that this will ship on Wednesday, which is the 14th for Don Russ. I'm hoping that I can get it out to you maybe a day ahead of that. But I don't know for sure because I've got a lot of stuff yet to get out the door and the weekends are always hard because the post office has short hours on saturday they're not open on sunday blah 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 anyway we're gonna stick with wednesday and hope for tuesday how about that that's how i'm gonna that's how we're gonna classify that and of course everybody's gonna hit cards in this because this is a gigantic break with like 1500 cards everybody's gonna get some so this is eight boxes of 2018 Don Russ Baseball. It's a half case break. It is break number two. And of course, like everything else, it ended tonight, March the 10th. And we'll scroll down through here. You guys uh, match up your names with your teams, get your mojo working. And I know we're uh, Otani hunting, because everybody's Otani hunting, right? But also, I got a specific uh, request in my eBay messages that said, "Hey, I want to pull. I want to pull Otani tonight. You know, like they're all in. I'm pulling Otani. So let's hope we find it. We found some numbered inserts for him uh, in the first half of the case, but no signatures. And I still say I think we'll find it in the case because I would really. I mean, I just think Panini." has probably got some in most of their cases or in every other case or something. I, I think he's easier to, I think he's gonna be easier to pull out of Panini than out of tops. That's just that's my theory. It's my working theory. I guess we'll know by the end of the night if that's right or wrong, but anyway. And we have Jacob pulling for the Royals, the Marlins, and the Brewers, while Bobby is all about the Angels. So, Bobby, you are Otani hunting then, right? So, you've seen, for, I'm assuming you're talking about Otani when you say this, Bobby. You've seen one jersey and two autos pulled, one out of 25 out of one case. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I think, I think he's going to be easier to find in 
at least in these early products, I think he's an easier pull here than he's going to be in Heritage. Well, we know he's a short print in Heritage already, so. Now, a couple of things here. You guys notice some of those cards are upside down. That is because Panini has a nasty habit of turning the cards 800 different ways in the same pack. Um, this has two different teams on it. I'm going to set it aside. We'll deal with those at the end of the break. We'll find more of those as well as some that have three teams that will be distributed uh, by way of random later at the end of the break. We have for the Colorado Rockies first hit out Diamond Collection David Dahl Relic. Got a little pinstripe in there too. But what I was saying about the cards, um, definitely they go in a million different directions in the Panini packs. It makes me absolutely insane, but that's what they do. And unless someone objects, we're going to leave them upside down when we come across them upside down. Because if we flip every single one of them, A, it's more handling of the cards, and B, it just takes longer. This is to 249. There's our little Otani Foundations insert. But if you do want every card flipped right side up, then, hey, jump in the chat and tell me. We'll do it that way. Otherwise, in the absence of that, the ones that are upside down, we're just going to kind of leave them upside down. And they're probably going to be about half and half, normally, the way Panini seems to go these days. And if you're watching live and you cannot see chat, you hear me, you know, talking back and forth to folks in there and you can't see it, two things to know. One, you need to be logged into YouTube to see and participate in chat. And two, if you are watching on a mobile device, uh, I believe you will have to switch to the desktop version. And there should be just a little uh, link on there that you can click that says, you know, switch to desktop version or something really similar to that. And then that should allow you to see chat from a mobile device as well. Little housekeeping notes. Big red machine. Those were the days when my Cincinnati Reds were good. Not like these days. This is to 199 Joe Morgan. These days, my Cincinnati Reds are just sad. <laughs> it's a sad, sad thing. And this is another one that we will set aside over here with two different teams on the card. So basically, any that have two or three different teams on the same card will be awarded by way of random at the end of the break. Reese Hoskins, rated rookie base rookie there and there are all kinds of variations in here most of you probably know that by now I mean they'll put in variations just with their nicknames on them and all kinds of other stuff and they kind of tend to call their variations a lot of them short prints but really you'll pull like a zillion in one case so I don't totally think of them as true short prints that is to 500 uh and a har for the Yankees, nice little rated rookie that is numbered. So, very strictly speaking, I guess they have a lot of, quote, short prints in here, but not in the way that we would think of them in terms of, like, the way Tops would do a short print. Our second hit out of this box, Ryan McMahon for the Rockies. On a signature series, that is a sticker auto. And we're due to find three hits per box. And the way that they, see that's what I'm talking about, like where they've got all rise and technically they'll call that like an, a short print type thing, an insert slash short print, but we'll find a bunch of them. And this is uh, Vieira. Am I saying that right? Probably not, but I'm going to go with Vieira because I don't know what else it would be. And that is also a signature series and a sticker auto, and that is our third hit out of this box. And as I was saying right as we were coming up to that, is that there are three hits per box, and 
the way it reads is it can be either one. It can be three autographs, it can be three memorabilia, some mix of the two. So they don't get real, they're real non-committal over there at Panini. <laughs> so it's kind of either or. And uh, then again, they also always say everything is on average. And that's really just code for, hey, we're probably going to replace some of your hits with a Panini Rewards Point card. And so that you can't sue us for doing that, we're going to say all of our hits are on average. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I think anyway. I think that's why they say that. George Brett, Kansas City Royals to 390. And we'll also find a whole bunch of black and white ones. And again, we find them in some abundance um, kind of throughout. So we'll find a lot. And oh, daggone it, I forgot to do this again. I forgot to list a, <laughs> a bidding position for Team USA, which I knew that I did. And then I said I was going to go back and put it in on a one-day auction, which I then failed to do and then we list then i listed another break in the meantime and by golly i forgot to put usa baseball in that too although we haven't found anything but inserts up to this point i mean i haven't found any relics haven't found any autographs or anything like that but still i did mean to put a, a bidding spot in for it and flipping forgot Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we—I thought I was saying who the hits were. Uh, it was McMahon and Vieira and David Dahl that we've hit so far. This is, does that say, yeah, Kel Kelby? Kelby Tomlinson uh, for the Promising Prose Materials as our, is that an extra hit in this box? We're still in the first box, aren't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Just making sure I hadn't like had some kind of a mini stroke there and <laughs> lost track. All right. So we got an extra hit in that box. We have four in that box. Uh, Bryce Harper, two, 999 on our little foundations insert. And Bobby is saying he saw a case where many boxes had four hits. Well, that's good. Uh, we had one, we have one box, I think it was in, what, didn't we have a box in the first half of this case? I think that only had two hits, but then we had another box that had four hits. Anyway, we ended up like right about the average we should have been. For everything combined once we opened all eight boxes but had we opened let's say you had bought it at retail and just opened you know the one box you would have been sure to hit so 349 jose ramirez insert obviously sorry Next up, Justin Verlander, and that is to 199. <laughs> Joshua, I see indeed you have joined us again tonight. <laughs> you always make me laugh because you say you're the dirtiest bidder in the game. It just makes me laugh. Every time that brings a smile to my face. Who do you have tonight, man? Cody Bellinger, numbered to 352. Another one of our uh, black and white ones. That was a Brehu. And that uh, French connection that went by, of course, is the Montreal Expos. And I think pretty much everybody knows. But in case you don't, uh, the former... Montreal Expos are the current Washington Nationals. 
and cards always stay with their franchise so anything we pull that is the expos is going to go to the nationals because it's the same franchise just you know it moved and changed its name as they have a tendency to do Oh, you got lots of emojis tonight, too, Josh. Why well, didn't you notice all those until just now? You've got the fire emoji and a grinning guy and a grinning crying guy. And I don't know what that other one is. Is that a little... It's a, it's a fist. All right. <laughs> it's like, what is that one in the middle? The, it comes up very small on my screen in my defense. The emojis are very small on my iPad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you drove three hours through the snow. Daggone, man. They said we were going to get some snow, and we did not. They said last night, oh, we were going to get probably one to three inches. There, I mean, you know how much snow was on the ground? About the equivalent of if I had walked outside and spit, and it froze on the way to the ground. That's how much snow was out there, like two flakes of snow on the driveway and that's it so i don't have a lot of faith in uh in what they predict for us these days although a weather alert popped up a little bit ago just like an hour ago or less and said the same thing except now they're saying it's going to be sunday night we're going to get one to three inches so i don't know we'll see Joshua, I would like to pull some fire out of here for sure, man. I mean, as a whole, we've had a pretty good week. We've pulled some very nice stuff throughout the week. Uh, but I would, you know what, uh, everybody wants to see an Otani come out of here, myself included. So I'd like to find that. I'd like to find a whammy insert. i got a whole little hit list of things I want to find in here. Oh, you've been getting hammered with snow in New England? Well, I do not envy you. I'm not a fan of cold weather particularly, not really a fan of snow, and I'm definitely not a fan of snow in March because we should be getting ready for spring and not dealing with this stuff. This is to 149 Nolan Arenado for the Rockies. Another black and white Chris Bryant and another black and white Mickey Mantle. Because they're almost always back to back when you find them. They seem to be collated together. And this is Mac Williamson, Promising Pros. Uh, it's another one for the Giants. We pulled a Promising Pros for the Giants a second ago as well. And now we have another one to go with it. Yeah, I did just say the Giants on that, Jacob. I mean, it says on the card as well, but yeah, that was uh, the Giants for Williamson. And this is Paul Goldschmidt to 999. You want to see Charlie Hustle pulled. Is Pete Rose in here, man? Do they have his signatures in here? This is Eddie Matthews to 199. All right. We're going to make, <clears throat> well, it's stuck on the edge of the wrapper. What is happening right there? Good gracious. So I think we need to collectively work our mojo here and just all start visualizing pulling the one of ones in the Super high-end hits. And let's see if we can't make it happen. There's another black and white rod Carew. All those Carews that come out, uh, at least all that came out of the first half of the case and all that I've seen tonight have all been for the Angels. So I think Carew must only be in here 
uh, for the Angels. Trey Mancini to 500. Oh, you saw a double auto Red Sox pulled and a double auto Yankees pulled. Well, I would take either one of those, too. So maybe we need to be working on that as well. <laughs> We'd be working on some dual auto mojo in addition to our one of one and Otani and Whammy wish list. We'll put dual autographs in our wish list as well. Oh, I hope this is going to be signed. This is Raphael Devers, Red Sox Diamond Collection. It's not signed. What a drag. Still a nice little hit, though, for the Sox. But I wish that had been signed for you for sure. Ozzie Albies, press proof for the Atlanta Braves. And is that, is Ozzie numbered and I missed it? No, I guess he's not. But I would have thought he would have been numbered on a press proof, especially a gold press proof. But I guess not because I don't see it on there. Anyway, good little hit there for the Braves on the rated rookie press proof for Ozzy. Oh, their dual autos have, a, have an autograph on the front and an autograph on the back. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I was getting ready to say, how would you display it? Well... Yeah, that was a stupid thought. You would, I mean, obviously the top loader and the one-touch case are both clear on both sides. I don't know why I, I don't know. I just, you know, I was thinking very literally like front and back. Yeah, it's clear on both sides, so it wouldn't matter. Sometimes it takes a minute. I'll admit it. Sometimes my brain doesn't quite <laughs> kick into gear. Tom Seaver, 289. I think he's all Mets in here, too. I, I haven't seen any Tom Seaver Reds or anything. I've only seen Tom Seaver Mets so far. So I think they're going to stick to that in this set, it looks like, anyway. Carlos Correa to 349. Another black and white. That one is Benny Baseball, Andrew Benintendi. Another uh, Team USA that I forgot to list a bidding category for. But, oh, San Diego Chicken. That goes to the Padres, before anybody asks. San Diego Chicken goes to the Padres. There's a George Brett uh, black and white that went by. There's another Jim Palmer black and white. And once again, we're going to find tons of those. Like, there's tons and tons of the black and white ones. There's not all that many players, but you'll get multiples of the players that are in black and white, which are Abreu... And Jim Palmer and Rod Carew and George Brett and Chris Bryant, if I didn't say him already. Oh, look at this nice Gary Sheffield to five. Oh, that's nice. Number three of five significant signatures. Uh, Gary Sheffield is a pretty sweet little hit right there. Ryan Sandberg to 199. And you know the Dodgers hit a bunch out of the first half of this case too. Like a bunch, bunch. It's a very Dodgers friendly sort of case so far anyway. You saw a chicken autograph pulled that had feathers and it was numbered. <laughs> oh, I love it. I would love to pull... The San Diego chicken with feathers on the card. That would be awesome. I would probably even buy a San Diego chicken card with feathers on it. Because this is just so cool. I 
I even bought some, uh, I bought some Looney Tunes, uh, comic ball the other day for myself. Do you guys remember that from Upper Deck, like, years ago? And it was all Chuck Jones illustrations, front and back of the cards, put out by Upper Deck. And, uh, it was all baseball illustrations, you know, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and the like. And somebody was selling it for, like, $5 a box or something. I said, oh yeah, I have to buy, I have to have some of that. So I bought a box of uh, Comic Ball to open up for myself. And I would gladly buy a San Diego chicken card that was had feathers on it. It wouldn't even have to be numbered. I just like the fact that they put feathers with it. That's great. Mickey Mantle to 376. San Diego Chicken. Man, I haven't thought about him in a long time until we start opening this product. Uh, this is numbered, does that say to six? I think it does. Three of six for, can you see that? It's right there. Um, this is for Mr. Andrew Benintendi. So the Red Sox with a nice low number Benintendi to six. Although it's kind of odd that they would number it to six, isn't it? Slightly. Like, why wouldn't you just do five or ten? Black and white Benintendi. A little Cal Ripken to 199. So the Orioles are hitting a few little numbered inserts with Mr. Cal Ripken so far. He's been coming out of the case a lot, too. Oh, uh, Joshua, you bought uh, Upper Deck Clerks cards. Yeah, Upper Deck's made a lot of interesting stuff over the years, kind of like pop culture sort of things, too. And sometimes, I don't know, I like them. They're kind of fun. And at $5 a box, there was no way I wasn't, there was no way I was going to pass up Comic Ball at $5 a box. It's just fun to open. Upper Deck used to, before they lost all their licenses and stuff, make some fun products. That's to 260 Evan Longoria. And no more Evan Longoria for the Rays. Yep, he's on there as San Fran. So all the Evan Longorias in this product already going to the Giants. I think in Heritage... He might still be for the Rays in Heritage. I'm trying to think. We pulled him out of there, I'm sure. It's another dual team card. Matt Carpenter to 460. Yeah, I'm not really much into hockey myself. Well, really at all. I, um, I've had some requests to break hockey, and I've thought about it. But I just don't really follow hockey, so it would be... I mean, it's not hard to break something. All I have to do is open it and show it. But this is to 999 Mike Trout out of this world, insert angels. But I don't know anything about it. So I wouldn't know, is it a good hit? Is it a bad hit? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. And I certainly wouldn't be able to have much of a conversation about hockey because I just don't follow it. So for that reason, I haven't really done hockey breaks, despite having had a few requests to do it. So I don't know if I'm going to try to, at some point, incorporate that. I would have to educate myself a little about hockey, I guess, and know at least some of the basics in terms of who's, who's who. But it's just not a, you know, I'm in Kentucky, so they don't really have a lot of hockey here, right? <laughs> Another diamond collection for the Red Sox. Another Devers. Raphael, that's the wrong sleeve. So that's a pair of those that have come out of the Devers relics. 
Devers. Benintendi, number two, 199 for the socks. Red socks. No, George Brett, black and white. So I do have one more case of Donruss. And we're going to open it starting next Thursday. We'll do the first half of it next Thursday. And I don't know when we'll do the back half. Probably Sunday. Because Friday we'll maybe do a little more select basketball and or heritage i'm not really sure which we'll do on friday whichever one of those we don't do on friday we'll do the other one on saturday and then we'll probably do don russ on either sunday or monday the back half of the case i don't know front half's definitely thursday and if you didn't hear me talking about this earlier i know some of you jumped in later i forgot about daylight saving time so all my listings are going to be really screwed up from Monday through Thursday because there's going to be a big time shift and where I thought something might be ending at say 8 45 or 9 o'clock for a 10 o'clock break with the shift in time guess what it's going to be ending at 9 45 or 10 o'clock for a 10 o'clock break Tyler Duffy promising pros relic for the twins so we're going to have an interesting few days at the first of the week. Um, yeah, so invoices are going to come like right about the time the break should be starting. I'm probably going to be finishing up the spreadsheet. And, and in some cases, we might even, I might have had one night or something where I even, you know, something might not have finished up till 9.15, which would really be 10.15 with the time shift. So we may have a couple of breaks Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Some of those breaks may actually not start like right at 10. I might bring them I might bring them live and just put a note up on the screen but then not really start breaking till maybe 10:15 or something. That's to 9.99 on the Buster Posey. Kind of just depends on how much time is in between. Obviously, if something doesn't end until right at 10 o'clock, for the night, then we're not going to be able to start right at 10 because I'll have to be able to um, fill out the spreadsheet and invoice and all that. Well, here's one of the things that was on my wish list for tonight. We pulled a whammy insert and it's Mickey Mantle, no less. Yeah, sweet. Yankees with the nice Mickey Mantle whammy. That is an... an awesome little hit right there you don't pull whammy all the time it is uh and you certainly don't pull whammy mickey mantle all the time i know you would have maybe rather had whammy of a of a rookie depending on who the rookie was but i kind of like that it was mickey mantle oh why am i opening that we still have two more packs to go i'm getting ready to start a new box <laughs> I got all sidetracked because we pulled Whammy and it made me happy. And then I forgot to open the last two bags. And in it, we have a Chris Bryant to 349 for the Cubbies. And, well, why can I? My depth perception has been just horrible this week or something. Like, I can't seem to line the card up with the opening of the sleeve. Another Rod Carew, black and white for the Angels, of course. Another two team card. Another Chris Bryant, black and white. Mickey Mantle, black and white. And, oh, are we going to have an Austin Hayes autograph? There's your two base cards. Oh, yeah, nice. Orioles with the Austin Hayes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dean, I check for the blank backs or clear backs, whichever you prefer to call them, 
when I sort, I do not typically do it during the break because again, we're talking 1500 cards. And by the time you do front and back, you can about double the amount of time that it takes to do the break. So I do not typically check for them during the live stream. No. However, I do check for them when I'm sorting. And of course they get put in the uh, sleeves and appropriately packed and cared for for shipping when I come across them out of the first half I think oh I don't know what did we find like uh maybe like five or six or something I mean it was a decent number of them in the first half And that is Andrew McCutcheon to 277. Of course, anything that's numbered, Dean, obviously we do in any of our hits, you know, we look at the front and back as it goes through. Um, but the regular stuff, the base card stuff, and um, what they're, you know, all of the stuff that we just kind of pass through and don't talk about, no, I look at that when we're sorting. This is to 349 for the Rockies with the Arenado. And that is really just because it is a tremendous number of cards. Oh, Yankees. Oh, besides your nice Mickey Mantle whammy that we just pulled for you. How about a little Aaron Judge to 25? Yeah, I know, I know. It's not rookie, but you know what? That's still money. Yankees, nice hit. Very nice hit. And if anybody wants a magnetic one-touch case for anything that you hit with me in this break or any other break as far as that goes that you do with me, I am always happy to do that at my cost for the case and the PayPal fees. Uh, it's $3 for a standard case, and that covers the case, the PayPal fees, the um, extra postage, you know, all that stuff is included in that $3. The only time it would be more than that is if it were a specialty case for a booklet or like a 260 point or a 360 point. Those run a slight bit more, not a whole lot more. I would have to actually tell you. I'd have to check with the hobby shop and tell you exactly on those if we needed one. But Or I might have, I think I've got, I think I've got maybe one of each here that I just picked up one of the other times I was there. But anyway, for the most part, um, most of our cases are going to be $3.00. And if you want one, you can tell me in chat. You can tell me in eBay messages. You would just need to tell me, you know, if it were in eBay messages, you would just want to tell me in what break. So, you know, for instance, out of the Don Russ break, you wanted your Aaron Judge. You just say that. We get it all taken care of. I would send you a PayPal money request um, to the address that you use for eBay is how it would work. This is Mazzara to 25 for the Rangers. Miguel Sano to 400, I think that says 96, oddly enough. I think that's what it is, 496 for the Minnesota Twins and Miguel Sano. I guess you guys saw the other day where someone asked Aaron Judge about the home run derby and he said, yeah, he's probably not going to do it again. Which is kind of a bummer. But, you know, they're, they do say, anecdotally, I have heard that some players think 
that it messes them up for the rest of the season after they do the home run derby. So they don't like to always do it. But of course, in his case, he's already won it. So what else does he have to prove? So this, like our dual team cards, that is a tri-team card. It's going to set off to the side here as well. And again, all of those will be awarded in random or by way of random at the end of the break. And basically the way that works is I'll just put in, you know, for the three team cards, we'll put in top, middle, bottom, and then wherever random lands, that will determine which team gets it, the team in the top position, middle position, or bottom position. And the two team cards, it'll go in as left and right. Senzatella for the Rockies diamond collection and a little pinstripe there. Ooh, I like this Willie Calhoun. I was hoping it was going to be signed, but it isn't. But it is to 199, so at least we got a nice little numbered Willie Calhoun there for the Rangers. And uh, maybe we'll find a signed one before we get out of here tonight. A Abreu black and white. So after we finish this box, we'll be at our halfway point because this is the fourth box of the break and then there are four left, of course. I'm still surprised that Donra sold out as quickly as it did. But Panini put out an announcement, maybe that it was either the day of or the day after its release and said it was already sold out at the factory, which is unusual for Don Russ Baseball to sell out that quickly. Daniel Robertson, Tampa Bay Rays, promising pros materials. I guess it's kind of Otani uh, having the effect this year like uh, we had last year with Aaron Judge. Now that, I would have thought that that was maybe a short print because there's no, um, yeah, I, I would have, I guess not, but I don't know. We're going to put it in there just in case it is. Because I would have thought that that would have said something down there at the bottom, but maybe not. I don't know. Either way, we put it in the sleeve in case it is. And then we have a little Jeff Hoffman Diamond Collection relic for the Rockies. Whoops. There's one statically stuck there to the little... Um, whatever you want to call it, the blank card, the dummy card. You know, the card that's supposed to fool all the people who feel up the packs and try to get the cards that have the hits in them. Those little blank uh, block type cards are supposed to trick them into thinking they're getting all the hits when really they're just getting those blank cards. Cody Bellinger for the Dodgers to 279. Long ball insert uh, to 249 for the Rangers, Joey Gallo. Another long ball insert. This is uh, Giancarlo to 999. And to 
they have him as a marlin here? Yeah, they do. So he's he's in here um, as a marlin on this card. So that's where it's going to go because there's your little MIA for Miami. Um, although he's also in this set in a Yankees uniform. And of course, in those, he'll go to the Yankees. But that one specifically says marlin. So it's going to go to the marlins. Jim, you figured out how to chat. Yay! <laughs> I always try to tell everybody you got to be logged in and then you have to make sure if you're on mobile to go to the desktop version. But sometimes, you know, I don't probably, I only say it like maybe once a break usually. And if you don't happen to be on at that exact moment, you probably didn't, uh, you know, wouldn't have heard it. But it can be kind of weird. YouTube sometimes can make it a little hard to figure out how to do things. It's not always super intuitive. But I'm glad you figured it out. And welcome to the chat, Jim. So that was our halfway point. That box we just finished. So we have four boxes left. This is the, what I'm opening one of the four that is left, of course. Not this one and four. This is one of the four. Whoops, I just stacked that right there in the wrong spot. Hold on just a second. I try to keep our numbered things uh, kind of separate over here just in case someone wants to recap them at the end of the break. And I just had stacked one of our regular stacks of base cards on top of our numbered stuff by accident. And if you have not done a break with me before and you wonder where those cards are going when I put them off to the right, that's the area that I use for sorting and it's all full of mats as well over there. So it's nice and uh, still nice and safe and comfy cozy over there. It just keeps the work area clear. This is to 199, George Brett, Kansas City. Oh, that's your Aaron Judge tonight? Sweet. I will for sure get that in a one touch for you. Absolutely. Happy to do that. And you got the whammy too. Did you see your whammy Mickey Mantle earlier? Joey Votto for my Cincinnati Reds to 349 Dominator insert. Oh, and Jim, just as an FYI uh, for your case, here's what I'll do. I will go to, I'll go into eBay and pull up your email address that is on file with eBay. That's the email that I will use to send you a PayPal money request. So if you use different emails for different things, um, please remember to check the one that you use for eBay specifically. Because I'll send the PayPal money request just directly to that and it'll just be for three bucks. And M... Oh boy, let me see if I... Avin... Chirado, that's probably way wrong. I am terrible with name pronunciation, but I'm kind of guessing that that's something maybe kind of close to that. Um, you're asking when will the video be able to be played back? Well, there's a two-part answer to that. The first part is YouTube will archive this live stream and they do something called processing. You're like, who knows even what that is? But usually after a couple hours after the break, they will have done whatever processing is and you'll be able to view that version just um it'll just be called live stream right but you'll be able to watch it then sometime tomorrow maybe tonight but probably tomorrow i will upload it and it'll be the exact same video but the uh, the difference will be i will go in and put in the right title and the right description in the one that I upload and it would start with eBay 31018 because obviously the auctions ended tonight the 10th and we're live streaming tonight the 10th. So that the one I upload will be available sometime within the next 24 hours. The other one that YouTube archives probably a couple hours after the break is over. 
And yes, Jim, I will put your whammy in one as well. And then look what else you just pulled, my friend. You're having a heck of a night with your Yankees because you just got a nice little Clint Frazier. You are having an excellent go of it with the Yankees tonight. <laughs> Jim says when he pulled the Aaron Judge, he screamed so loud that it scared his dog. <laughs> He had to give his dog a treat because he felt bad about scaring him. <laughs> I do that sometimes with my, uh, I, we have cats, and so sometimes uh, we get a little excitable around here too, usually when watching sporting events, and uh, we have to bribe the cats afterwards as well. This is to 284, little Ken Griffey Jr. for the Mariners. But yeah, that Aaron to 25 is a nice hit. And then you've got the, the Mickey Mantle whammy on top of that. And then the nice uh, Clint Frazier as well. So you are holding your own tonight with the Yankees in here. To 252, Strasburg for the Nats. So if we can find Otani, I would like, I really want to find an Otani in here. And if we can conjure that up, then uh, I'm going to be really happy with this break. <laughs> Joshua, you must be pulling something you like then. What do you, you're, you're, uh, you've got something in here that, who's your team? Who'd you tell me your team is in here again tonight, Joshua? But we pulled something you like then for sure. Because it's fire and Christmas. <laughs> Seattle is you. Okay. All right. Awesome. Well, you know I have the soft spot for Ken Griffey Jr. Because he also, uh, you know, was in, in Cincinnati for a bit. And Jacob is still uh, looking for Royals, Marlins, and Brewers. And Joshua, Colorado, Cincinnati, and the Nats. Okay. Cincy, you've got my little Cincinnati Reds. I always like to see good stuff come out for the Reds. Corey Seager. Does that say $9.99? Yeah. It's an all-star to $999, which... Really, kind of at that point, I don't know why you're even numbering if you're up to 999, but but they do. It's another Team USA, which we all know I forgot to list the bidding category. I know, I know. Didn't mean to. Ben and Tendi, black and white again. Triple team card again. Yeah, as a whole, I've been fairly happy with what we've pulled out of Don Russ so far. I'm probably, uh, well, we've got one more case. Uh, this is the back end, obviously, the first case. We've got one more case of it. But that's all I had ordered of it originally was just two cases because, you know, we were still breaking Heritage and Gypsy Queen's right around the corner and 21st, so, you know, 10 days or so. But then you can normally go back and get Don Russ Baseball for at least a month after it's come out. So I had no idea that they were going to all of a sudden pop up the day of or the day after release with, oh, it's all gone at the factory. Because you know as soon as they say that, everybody wants to raise the price. Whether or not they still have plenty, they shoot the price right up on you as soon as Panini says, oh, we don't have any more. Griffey Sr. and Jr. autograph on one court <laughs> or an Ichiro buyback. Well, I would be just perfectly fine finding all of that for you. This is to 286 for the Braves. Another Aussie Albies insert. I still can't believe Ichiro's gone back to Seattle. I mean, I'm glad. I think it's cool that he did, but I'm a little surprised because... You know, that wasn't maybe the most amicable parting of the ways way back when. Adam Wainwright is to 49. 
St. Louis, if I didn't say that. Here comes Mookie Betts. Mookie is to 249. All stars insert. And here we have 249 as well, Kyle Hendricks. I'm kind of glad I find lots of those little blank blocky cards in here because those come in handy sometimes when you're shipping things. I was getting low on those, so I'm kind of glad to find those. For Cleveland, Promising Prose Materials, Eric Gonzalez. Has anybody seen a buyback come out yet in a break? You know, I didn't even realize there were buybacks in here. This is so awful. But <laughs> the first night, Wednesday night when it came out, somebody in chat asked me about buybacks. I was like, I don't think they have buybacks in Donruss Baseball. I don't ever remember buybacks in Donruss Baseball. And then somebody else, of course, you can see the boxes in the background. Somebody else said, uh, um, look at the box. <laughs> I was like, yep, sure enough, there it says, look for buybacks. <laughs> Classic Donruss Originals. I hadn't even noticed it. How? I mean, I don't know where my head goes some days. But I don't even remember them saying anything about the buybacks in the marketing materials or any of the pre-sale stuff. Maybe they did, but, you know, gosh, we saw that several months ago, and I had just had completely gone off my radar. <laughs> Somebody's like, mm, look at the box. Oh. That's what happens sometimes when you break a lot of products. They all kind of start merging, melding into one in my head. Of course, I always think of tops when you think of buybacks because they put them in series one and two and update and all that usually. And, of course, we can find them in Heritage and all that, too. Alex Dickerson for the Padres Promising Prose Materials. Another little Mickey Mantle black and white. Chris Sale numbered to 349 All-Stars. Black and white, Jim Palmer. Out of this world for the Rockies, Nolan Arenado. 999. I think that's the, maybe the second one of that that we've pulled this break, I think, of Arenado. Wouldn't absolutely swear to it, but I think so. Rizzo for the Cubbies with a press proof numbered to 99. And see that other press proof we found that was also gold? I didn't see a number on it. Do you guys remember that one back towards the front of the break? And I looked for a number and I couldn't find it. And then that gold press proof was numbered to 99. So what gives with that, I wonder? Maybe the other one did have a number and I didn't see it. I don't know. I don't think so, though. It looks pretty... If I think one of you guys, if even if I didn't see it, one of you guys probably would have seen it and said, hey, it's right there. Because sometimes I do overlook them. I will freely admit that. I had some eye surgery back when I was younger. But back before they did laser correction when you had poor vision they did something called rk radial keratonomy where they actually cut your eyeball yeah and they messed mine up so my vision is a hot mess this is 286 tom siever for the mets so one of my eyes i can only see if it's about maybe six inches from my face. I can't see farther than six inches away with one of my eyes. 
my other eye, I can only see if it is maybe two or three feet away. So anything in between six inches and two or three feet can be kind of difficult for me sometimes. Which is, of course, you know, right where we do these breaks. But but uh, I, I think I, I mostly have it figured out where I can make it work. But sometimes I do still overlook something, miss something, and my vision fluctuates. So some days it's good and some days it's worse and you get it on a bad day, boy, then I can't see anything at all. Well, I can see, but you know what I mean. I'm talking about numbering and stuff. Addison Russell Relic. Cubbies. So the moral of that story is don't ever have elective eye surgery. Of course, I think these days it's really fine. That was many years ago when that happened. And sadly, can't fix it. Braden Shipley for the Diamondbacks. Oh, and it's signed. Nice. I like it. Promising Pros Materials. You got a little sticker auto there. And uh, the D-backs with a nice little uh, Braden Shipley hit. I like it. I guess the good news, though, about my eyes is that I kind of have built-in bifocals as a result. <laughs> Because the eye that only can see about six inches is the one I use for reading most of the time. And the other one I use for driving and everything else. So they did tell me that that, that was the one thing. Because I can't wear glasses or contacts or anything. Because of the difference in the power of my eyes. It gives me massive migraines and no way to fix that either. But they're like, oh, well, the good news is you have built-in bifocals. Oh, well, okay, that's good. <laughs> I guess. See, six inches or three feet, not in between, but all right. I'll work with it. Another black and white Benintendi. And we're about to have a hit for the Kansas City Royals, it looks like. Cameron Gallagher Signature Series Sticker Auto for KC. Oh, we got to put that over in our little to be randomed off pile. I don't think randomed is a word, is it? In our pile of cards to go by way of random. It's probably still not uh, technically great sentence structure either. <laughs> if there are any teachers out there, they cringed at both of those, but what are you going to do? My little kitten has not made a peep the whole time I've been doing the break, which we're an hour and a half in and I haven't heard him play with the toy or make one sound. That means he has probably destroyed something somewhere in the house. That is never a good sign. I'd always rather hear what he's doing and know if the house is about to burn to the ground or explode <laughs> than to have him be quiet. He's like a little silent assassin destroying something. Andrew McCutcheon to 199 Pirates. And now he's figured out that he can jump much higher than he thought he could jump. So now, oh yeah. He's up on counters and up on fireplace mantle and eating the plants that I had stashed up high to keep him out of them. Oh, yes. Just this week, he's learned, oh, boy, I can jump to 300 Segura for the Mariners. Did you say the cat on Christmas vacation? <laughs> 
<laughs> Jim, maybe he did hear you scream all the way from Arizona and he went and hid. If that's the case, then I'm going to have you scream every night in Arizona before we start the break. <laughs> oh, nothing's, nothing bothers that little kitten. He is just fearless, and but he is just bent on destroying everything in the house. That is to 249 Aaron Judge out of this world insert. I mean, he doesn't know, obviously, that he's being just terrible, but he is pretty much just being that. Was uh, has to go over here. I stacked it in the wrong place. But he is just terrible most of the time. I guess he'll grow out of it, but whew. There are many days when I think, oh, why did I go out and get the paper that morning? <laughs> I mean, not really. I mean, it would have been bad. He would have died if he had been left outside. He was so sick. But, but man, <laughs> he has really created havoc around here and cost a lot of money to get that little cat well, too. I swear. Going to the vet is more expensive than going to the doctor for us. <laughs> the vet is so expensive. I mean, we had a couple cats already that, again, had come to the, you know, born outside to a stray mother or feral mother had come to the door and whatever, but they were never like this. This is the 349 Max Scherzer. They were just a little brother and sister and... Now we've got this little devil cat joining them. And uh, <laughs> he really can be very sweet, but he also can be devil cat. And he likes to jump on the backs of the brother and the sister and ride them like he's a little cowboy and they're a horse. Like he jumps on their backs and will not get off. It's awful. It makes him so mad. This is to 49 for the Padres with Tony Gwynn. <laughs> You're talking. <laughs> Bobby's talking about the cat in uh, um, <laughs> chew, uh, clawing at the Christmas lights, and uh, that the cat got wrapped up from the movie. I'm assuming you're talking about right. Yes. Oh yes, you you have a Maine Coon cat, and you said your Maine Coon likes to play in the wrappers. Yeah. Sometimes they haven't been doing it a lot recently they were doing it a whole lot um a few months back sometimes they do the same thing here they like to run and kind of dive into the pile of wrappers as if it is a pile of leaves and it makes the most tremendous noise and sometimes that does happen during the break but they haven't done it lately tyler wade signature series that is also a sticker auto and Tyler Wade is also a Yankee, right? Just obviously it just says New York, so you gotta know Angels or Yankees. I'm pretty sure Tyler Wade is a Yankee too. Which basically means that Jim is just loading up the hits. Um Jacob, I do not remember what the Yankees went for. I had, I mean, we had six breaks tonight, so I really couldn't probably tell you what anything ended for, to be honest. So that's 180 some odd teams. Because, of course, football's 32 teams, baseball and basketball are 30 teams. But, yeah, I do not do well with retaining that. So I don't remember what the Yankees went for. It was under 100, but I don't remember exactly what. Alex Bregman relic for the Astros. I like that kid. I think he's a he's a good solid little player. Oh, Jim tells us 88. Yeah, you definitely got well, once you pulled Aaron Judge to 25, your your 88 hurdle was cleared. Um, maybe even before that, I don't know what that 
Mickey Mantle Whammy will bring, but it'll bring decent money too if you're inclined to sell rather than keep. You know, some people keep, some people sell. Kansas City Royals Peter O'Brien Diamond Collection. And then, of course, you've got the Clint Frazier. And, yeah, it's been a good it's been a good half for the Yankees so far. Nolan Arenado, long ball, numbered to $9.99 for the Rockies. Oh, you do both? You keep some and sell some? You know, that's really the best way to do it, I think, because the stuff that you sell helps finance the stuff that you keep. I have some stuff that I need to sell to help finance some of the stuff that I like to keep. Although, honestly, I haven't been able to buy into breaks very much lately. I've been so busy doing them and all the things associated with it, like sorting and shipping and whatnot, and then regular everyday stuff, I have not had time to buy into very many lately, and I'm kind of missing it. That's to 249 Francisco Lindor. As you know, there's a lot of nice uh, Steelers hits this year. We've got a good rookie class, so... I need to try to get into a few of those before we move into on into 2018 football. Maybe I'll try to get some Steelers and National Treasures. That comes out on the 21st, too. And I hope that we're going to start seeing Hunter Green turn up in some Topps products here. I would assume that he's going to show up in Bowman. I would hope in Bowman and Bowman Chrome, but I guess... We won't know for sure until the checklist is released, but if that's the case, then I'll have to start buying my reds pretty soon, too. Brandon Woodruff for the Brewers. Hey, Jacob, we got a brewer for you, man. Signature Series Brandon Woodruff sticker auto. And... Oh, Jim says you're not really that much of a Yankees fan. You're more a Dodgers fan. Your brother has season tickets. I like the Dodgers as well. I lived in L.A. for a while. And so I'm definitely a Dodgers fan alongside my Cincinnati Reds. And Joshua says he does both too. But you mostly identify as a collector. Yeah, that's kind of me. I mean, I, I very seldom sell my stuff, though. I have to admit, I'm pretty bad about it. Once I get it, I get attached to it, and I like to keep it. And I need to sell more of it, because then I can finance more. You know, buy into more breaks and things. I don't know. I really need to get some off my rear and get some stuff graded which I intended to do until I found out how far behind all the grading services were. And so then I didn't send them in. And of course, now they're just farther behind and, you know, <laughs> how it goes. So here's another Aussie Albies rated rookie press proof. And I don't, oh, it is numbered. I just didn't see it earlier. It's right up there. It's like in the people. I couldn't, I never saw it on the first one. But yeah, there it is. It's to 99. So Excellent kept thinking that thing had to be numbered somewhere. Never could find it on the first one. But at least we found it on the second one. So that means we know the first one is numbered to 99 as well. Because it was also a gold press proof. Another USA Baseball. So yeah, I'm going to have to do something with some of mine. And I've got a bunch of stuff, too, from breaks of players that I don't really even care that much about. Because sometimes if I can't get my team in a break, I still just want to be in the break and I'll just buy a different team. And I'll always tell myself, if I hit something, I'll just sell what I hit because I'm not connected really to that team. And then somehow I don't sell it and it ends up staying here. So I've got a bunch of that kind of stuff, too. This is to 351 Mookie Betts.
Oh, you live between Oak Grove. I don't even know where Oak Grove, Kentucky is. And Clarksville, Tennessee. You lived there for almost five years. But I don't know where Oak Grove, Kentucky is. Is that awful? Because I'm in Kentucky, but I don't know where that is. I don't think I've ever even heard of Oak Grove, Kentucky. What's it? What's what's the nearest major city to it? Maybe I can figure out where it is. That is to 99, a gold press proof Carlos Correa for the Astros. Oh, it's near Fort Campbell. Okay. Yeah, I have not been around that part of the state very much, so I'm not obviously not familiar with it very much. I did not know we had an Oak Grove, Kentucky. To 322, Justin Turner for the Dodgers. All right, we have got one box left. When we finish this box, we'll still have a little housekeeping to do, i.e. Uh, giving out our cards here by way of random that have two and three teams on them. And then after we do that, we will recap our hits. So far, I've been pretty pleased with what we've pulled out of this case. I would like to find the Otani in here, though. I mean, we found the other stuff. We found the Whammy. We found most of the stuff that we've kind of collectively put out in the universe and said, hey, this is what we want to hit. We hit most of it. We have not yet hit Otani, so I hope he's in this box because I'm going to be sad if we don't find him. Because my working theory was that we should have him in here. That's just kind of what I, what I, I think I said that even at the start of the case, that I figured we'd find him in here. And that is to 99, gold press proof Mickey Mantle for the Yankees. Oh, we, we know we hit a white sock earlier, didn't we? Didn't we hit a white sock? I thought we did, maybe not. I guess we'll find out when I go back through the hit recap, but for some reason I had in my head that we had hit a white sock earlier. Tom Seaver pressed proof to 99 for the Mets. Maybe it was just one of the numbered inserts and I've, I'm equating it to a hit in, in my head. Charlie Blackman to 199 for the Rockies. Well, maybe we will, if we haven't found you a white sock already, then hopefully we're going to find you one in here. Another Chris Bryant. That Chris Bryant and that Mickey Mantle are like always together. So they collate them the same way every time they insert them. That is two 500 Andrew Miller Indians. Which I will eventually get in the sleeve. Oh, now I hear the kitten. Maybe he was just sleeping earlier as opposed to destroying something then. I don't know. But I hear him now. <laughs> Jim Armstrong says, you did not know that it was going to be Christmas in March. Yeah, you've done well in here. Very well. Mm 
those are the ones that are the most fun, right? That's That helps make up for the times when we get skunked, when we have breaks where we hit awesome stuff. Because believe me, I've been in plenty where I've been skunked. And of course, I also buy into a lot of uh, one box breaks too, trying to hit various rookies for my Steelers, you know, out of 2010, 2013, certain specific years. And I get skunked in those a lot. But then I'll hit the one I've been looking for, and it just makes up for all of it. John Lamb for the Angels, Promising Pros Materials. Justin Verlander, Mound Marvels to 999. Clayton Kershaw to 999. Dodgers. Yeah, so I don't mind too much if I get skunked as long as I pick up a nice hit every few weeks then I'm it kind of settles me down and I'm okay <laughs> this is to 249 Otani out of this world insert of course lately with me not having as much time to buy into breaks I've been buying boxes I just buy loose boxes at the hobby store because uh, obviously the cases I buy, we break. So I can't really, you know, dip into those. But I'll buy some loose boxes from him when stuff comes in. And I figure it's kind of the same as a break. But I don't think my money goes quite as far. It's what I pay for the one box I could have probably bought into multiple breaks for. But if you don't have time, at least it's a somewhat of a substitute. In fact... The last box I bought from him was Contenders Basketball a couple weeks ago, and I did hit something nice out of it. It's not something I personally want, so I need to sell it, but I had a Laurie Markinen uh, rookie variation on card to number 35, so I think it'll come close to paying for the cost of the box, but nothing else that I hit in it was, you know, worth much. And I didn't hit any of the players that I personally collect, so. But, at least I hit something, right? So, you know. This is the third Diamond Collection uh, Raphael. So, Red Sox, you are really uh, kind of reeling those in. You've got three of them. Devers out of uh, this half of the case. Oh, you know what I saw the other day? It was a pre-order materials, but the Onyx autograph baseballs, the preferred players, you know, I open those periodically. Um, of course, everybody's been out of stock of them recently, but I opened them quite a few times throughout the last year. And they put out the sales materials for this newest group that'll be coming out in a couple months. You had to pre-order it now. And guess who's in it? Otani, yep, along with Aaron Judge and Cody Bellinger and a bunch of our hot rookies and Otani. So I'm hoping that we'll hit some cool Otani auto baseballs out of that case. Reese Hoskins to 500 for the Phillies, rated rookie insert. But I don't remember the exact date that it comes out, but it's probably couple months from now, two or three months from now, I guess, because pre-order just went up, I think it was last week that we had to say if we wanted that or not. And I'm thinking about maybe just breaking that as a half case or something, as opposed to doing all the you know, one box breaks of the autograph baseballs. We might just break it as a half case. Andrew Stevenson for the Nationals. Don Russ Signature Series Sticker Auto. 
So the gnat's getting one of the last hits that we're going to find tonight. I didn't keep count of how many we had in this box, so I don't know if there's another one in this short stack or not. But we're about to find out. No, I guess that was it. That was the last one of our hits anyway. Okay, before we recap, which we will do here momentarily, we're going to go into random and uh, deal with a couple of things there. I'm just getting all of our various things up there that we need to recap. So first, we're going to take a look at this card, and you know what? There's exactly three of these, so here's what I'm going to do with this. Instead of giving this out to random, since there are three teams and there are three cards, we're just going to give one to each team. So one will go to Houston, one will go to St. Louis, and one will go to Cleveland. I think that way everybody's happy. There's I don't see any reason why. I mean, these aren't numbered or anything, so I don't think... There's any reason why somebody should get all three and the other two teams get nothing when we have three. And you saw me put them in a sleeve here. That's because I'm then going to note on the sleeve which one it goes to so that I make sure each team gets one. So one to Houston, one to St. Louis, and one to Cleveland. So there, that was easy. And that's this card, this uh, Puerto Rico's finest card. Now we have got a bunch of different cards here that all have, some of them are duplicates, some of them are not. These are all two team cards. So what's going to happen with these, I'm going to go to random and I'm going to put in top team and bottom team. And we'll hit random three different times. The first two are not going to count. And the third random will tell us where this is going to go. So if it comes up top team, then, for instance, this card would go to Boston. If it came up bottom team, you know, George Brett, it would go to Kansas City. So that's how we're going to handle this whole stack of cards. And we'll take a look at them uh, here in a second once we get the random part done. And remember, the first uh, two times don't count. So ignore this one, ignore this one. Third and final is here. There you'll see three times our date and time stamp. It comes up as the bottom team. And I'm just going to put one of these in a sleeve so that it will remind me that all of these have gone to the team on the bottom. So this one will go to Kansas City. Looks like that on the front. This one goes to Cincinnati. Looks like that. And this is the same one we saw a minute ago. So that'll be Kansas City, Cincinnati. This one will go to St. Louis. The card looks like that. This one to Baltimore. Card looks like that. Same as Baltimore, Baltimore, KC, Cincy, St. Louis. KC, Sensi. This card looks like that, and it will go to the Cubs with the Ryan Sandberg, and then Baltimore and the Cubs. So that's how those are being distributed. And if I accidentally stacked another two team one over there somewhere, um, of course it would be the same theory. It would go to the team on the bottom. Now we're going to take a look at our numbered inserts. And I believe that all of these were stacked separately. It's always possible that I accidentally stacked one somewhere in one of the main stacks. And if I did, of course, you're still going to get it. Uh, if you saw it go through, of course, you're going to receive it. It would just mean that I stacked it wrong. I mean, I try to put them all in the right place for the recap. But every once in a while, that's a nice little Anjahar, too. Um, every once in a while I'll forget and stack one in the wrong stack and then we don't see it in the recap. And you know what? Let's go ahead. I'm going to go on and get the 
case for this while we're at it. Where are those? Are? Oh, bear with me. I'm looking for the right size case here. Might be that, but I'm not 100% sure. I know, I've got a big stack of cases over here, so I'm trying to kind of uh, dig through and find the one that we need to make this uh, for Whammy and for Aaron Judge. And I think it's going to be one of these two, so we'll just have to see which one of the two. We'll try this one first, and if it doesn't look like a good fit for this one, then we'll go to the next one. And this may... Eh, I don't know. I'm not totally wild about that one. Let's, let's, let's see. Well, actually, it doesn't really move in there, so it might be all right, but we're going to take a look at the other one, too. Well, now it's in there. Well, it's really in there now. Oh, my goodness. Why is it in there? And not, I mean, it's not supposed to move once it's in there, but if I want to take it out, I should be able to take it out. It is in there, in there, isn't it? Okay. Come on, there we go. Yeah, all right. That's what they're supposed to do, but usually you can kind of Get it to come out of there a little easier. Now, big fella, let's see what you look like in here. Did I just put that in the wrong? Yes, I did. See, this is where the vision thing comes in. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. The middle distance of the vision is not my friend. I'm going to have to get this closer to me. There we go. So I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so he fits perfectly in there. So there is our nice little whammy Mickey mantle. And this is the little, um, I'll just send this with it. It'll be in the little bag with it because it talks about whatever, the UV protection and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's good for X number of years or something. So let me put this one back out of the way because I think it's... I mean, I think it would have worked, but it was just a little snugger, a little more, it fit a little more snugly than I think I would have preferred. And now we need to look through the rest of our numbered stuff because Whammy was on the top of that. So there's Whammy. He's not numbered, but he's not common. So that's why he was stacked there. And then we'll look through our signature and relic. And, of course, uh, we've got another hit to go in a case when we get there with our Aaron Judge to 25. And that should have been in that stack. See, I told you, sometimes I stack them in the wrong place. Every once in a while. And one of these, where's the one... Now, see, and I stacked Aaron in the wrong spot, too. <laughs> Good grief. It's usually, you can tell, it's the ones I am excitable about. Like, I was so happy we found Aaron Judge, and then I sat there and stacked him in with the numbered inserts. Which doesn't matter, except for the purposes of recapping. All right, let's get Aaron all nice and safe and sound and snug in his case and there he is all all happy and pretty and ready to go to his new home whoops I'll put his little insert over there too and then the austin hayes also a very nice hit for the orioles the Gary Sheffield, a nice hit. I 
Oh, this, this, isn't this the White Sox? Are you still uh, on here, Dean? Isn't, isn't Vieira a White Sox? He, I thought he was. Is he a Cub? I thought he was a White Sox. I'll, obviously, you know, guys, I verify all this stuff before I send these out. But I really thought that he was a White Sox. So, Dean, am I wrong? <laughs> You're saying he's a bum. Okay, but isn't, he a, but isn't he a bum for the White Sox? I mean, I thought he was. I don't know. I'll have to double check it before I ship it out. But All right, Josh, you out of here, ma'am. Well, I will definitely uh, see you Monday then for, for Heritage for sure. We'll see what we can pull out of there. <laughs> you said unfortunately. So, all right. So we did hit a white sock. You just didn't hit one you liked. <laughs> so that's a little different matter, I guess. I can't. That I guess we need to be more specific next time when we set our intentions and speci and specify which white sox players you like and which ones you don't. Because, uh, unfortunately, the powers that be, the breaking gods, if you will, just awarded you a random white sock. And they didn't know you didn't like that one, I guess. All right, guys, that is it for tonight. So, um, I appreciate everyone hanging out and keeping me company in chat and breaking with me and bidding with me and all that fun stuff. And, um, you know, we do this most nights, so... We'll be back at it again tomorrow night with a variety of things. And kind of all week, we'll be, uh, we'll be finding something fun to open along the way. And until then, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And uh, get ready for daylight saving time, which I foolishly forgot about. I think it switches in the, in the wee hours of the morning, Sunday morning, Sunday night slash Monday morning. So anyway that is it for me tonight thanks a lot i appreciate you we'll see you the next time bye now